episode of Gearhead Girl Award. Today we are unboxing this brand new SA 2020 helmet. Now this particular helmet is the Zant RZ70E, so it's pretty exciting. And the pictures looked really impressive, so looking forward to seeing what it's like in real life. Uh, so before we get into it, this helmet is from Way Racing in New Zealand. You can visit them online and check the description below for the link. Something to note about this is with the new helmet standards that came out October, will go into effect October 1st of this year, so a few months ago, you have to, it's SA 2020 is the new standard. If you're buying a new helmet, you do not want to be buying an SA 2015. If you're getting an SA 2015, you should probably be getting a substantial discount on that. So anyway, SA 2020 is the brand new standard and the one that you want to get regardless of manufacturer. Go with the SA2020. This came from the US and it came very quickly from Away Racing. Like no problems, no issues, super fast shipping, SA2020 standard, that's what you want. So if other manufacturers <laughs> or distributors in New Zealand are out there telling you no SA2015 is fine and you're going to be on the wait list forever. Uh, I recommend checking out Way Racing and checking out this Zamp helmet. We'll go ahead and start the unboxing. Alright, so here is the clear shield that they all come stock with. We went ahead and got a, another shield with it, which you guys will see here shortly, but this is the stock shield that it comes with. It's got uh, the tear-off posts. Oh. So we've got our Zamp logoed helmet bag. And that's everything in the box there. It's got some foam padding for shipping. Some of you might have seen the post earlier with the uh, black and white asking what color it is. Well, here's your big reveal. Oh, check this out. Oh my goodness. That is bright. I don't know if you guys can tell in this video, but this is like a highlighter on steroids. Bright. Look at that. So again, uh, yep. Wow. So again, this is the Zamp RZ70E helmet. Wow. It's a, it's a lot more impressive <laughs> than I was expecting. And this is supposed to be the all-in-one helmet, so you should be able to use it for single seaters. You should be able to use it for stock car racing, circuit racing, pretty much whatever kind of racing, as long as it's not a motorcycle, you should be sweet. This helmet is both FIA and Snell rated. Again, it is the new SA2020 standard. So this helmet does meet the new SA2020 standards. It's got the, this is actually already installed for us here. You can have it installed or from the factory or you can have it sent to you and you can install it. I think the install fee is something like $5 for installation, but all the new SA2020 helmets, it's threaded and there's no more backing plates, nothing like that you find in 2015 and prior. So it comes with the helmet. You get your owner's manual. Talks about care, about the FIA certification, and about how you shouldn't paint these things. And if you are, what can you do? Looks like it's got um, vents for the sides. Uh, what's really cool about this helmet is it's set up to, you can do a snorkel, you can do drinks, tubes, you can do comms. These are all addable options for this. What else is in here? And it's got the ear muff pad things that you can put in the inserts if it's really loud. Or you can stick in your radio. It's really cool. I'll have to get the camera in here and show you the SA2020 cert as well as the FIA certification. Also on the back, you have your quick reference Snell SA2020. So you can see here, 
the opening on this is kind of pretty pretty narrow compared to some other helmets. I like I like the narrow opening, but that is down to personal preference. And you've also got the arrow lip down here for use, like say, in an open wheeler, uh, single seater type car. And it's got this here to prevent your breath from fogging up the visor. It's got lots of ventilation. You can see there's grommets all around here for ventilation. It's it's pretty uh, it's, it's impressive for for what it is, especially for the price point. So if you go and look up the, the price points on these compared to say a brand new Bell or a Simpson, you might be quite surprised with the value for money on this. The other thing is if you start digging into the research of Sam and where these are made and Bell and who owns what, you might be surprised as to the quality of these helmets in relation to Bell and the factory that they come from. So I'm not going to say too much more on that subject, but do your own independent research and you might come to the same realizations that we did when considering which helmet to go with as far as quality and standards and functionality and price. So that's pretty much what's in the box. You've got your, if you ordered an extra shield, you'll get your extra shield. This is the one it comes stocked with. It comes with these and your muffs, your owner's manual. That's all stuffed inside the helmet. And then we've got the Hans Post, or in this case, the ZAMP version of that, which again, you need to have for 20 You can pay optional to have them installed for you, or you can install them yourself, and they should just thread in nice and easy as is required for the SA 2020 new standard. So ideally, when trying on a helmet, you want it to push up on your cheeks a little bit. You can do the two finger test. You don't want to be able to fit two fingers up in at the top. If you can, it's too loose. You want to shake it around, make sure you've got that chipmunk cheek pushing up and there's no movement at all. Keep in mind that the pads on here, they're going to be nice and tight. You want them to be a little bit more snug, not snug enough to give you a headache, but more snug than, than really is comfortable because the pads will wear in and break down over time. All right, guys and gals, well, thanks for watching this Gearhead Girl unboxing video. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like and subscribe. If you would like your product reviewed or featured on the channel, please go ahead, visit www.ghd69.com and hit contact to get in touch. That's all for now, and we'll catch you guys back in the next one. See ya.